hi guys and welcome to unity tutorial of an ocean view so i'm going to start a new project right now so let's do that okay let's start by going straight to the standard asset double click on the standard asset and you go straight to the environment inside the environment you need the water folder click on waterfall and waterfall select the prefab and just drag the water dump it right there okay let's change the scale of the water to about 258 by the x axis or the z axis we change that to maybe 28.8 the y axis remain the same okay the next thing is i'm going to right click here and just add a cube there we go that's my cube right there and i'm going to change the settings of the cube to about let's make that a thousand that is fine let's make this a thousand as well and we'll make this about 100 there and set the coordinates of the cube uh, you want to have 780 788 400 and the z is uh, 533 it's right there you can see all the settings now the next thing i want to do is right click on here again and i want to add a terrain the terrain i want it to be right on top of my cube first of all let's set the transform property of the terrain so the x axis for the position will be 360 then y axis will be 450 and the z axis of the position i'm going to make that minus 11. So that is fine i'll leave the rest the way they are and let's come right down here and let's select the setting with the setting selector you see where we have basic terrain come right down where we have reflection and underneath reflection material let's change the material to sand we can always find that make sure you do have your standard asset though there we go I have the sand right in there that is fine the next thing is i'm going to scroll right down so just check out the mesh resolution i think that would do the width is 1000 the height is 1000 uh, the length is 1000 the height is about 600 that's okay that is the terrain right there if you guys can see and if you go to the games here we should be able to see the terrain let's grab the move tool and just kind of like take it up a little bit just tiny a little bit there now there we go so if i run it now this is what you guys will see there and that is the ocean right over there that's the terrain resting on the cube now the next thing we want to do is let's kind of like zoom out a little bit so right inside the terrain make sure it's still selected let's go straight into the brush select the terrain brush and i am just going to select this very brush and raise the terrain a little bit let's come here i think that will do yeah that will do let's raise it once just click on it once you might not be able to see it but it is raised take my word for it it is raised all right that is fine now now the next thing we then want to do is we need to add some buildings okay let's kind of like click on the main camera and just reposition it properly i think that would do for now there we go so that i can see okay so i'm going to now add my building so let's come in here first of all let's change this perspective and see right so that's fine all right so let's grab some buildings on board i have white city so let's double click on white city there you can see that on uh, asset store we'll click on building i'm going to grab this and just dump it somewhere here okay we have all of the raised beats here and i'm going to grab this as well let's position this somewhere here i will then increase the size of those two components that we've just added okay let's increase the size of that building to 0 0.8 plus so we'll be the same thing for the y axis and the z axis just to increase the size a little bit more there i also have another building that i've selected here that is the building let's come down here uh the prefab there we go this very building so i'm going to actually need one of them as well let's paste that in there and i'll just change that as follows so let's make this about eight eight and eight maybe make that about 900 plus and uh, the the y axis for that 560 and 740 so i can even just copy that now okay we copy that i'm just going to hold on to ctrl d yeah we have a duplicate of it so i'm going to just change this to zero 
that is fine then all i just need to do now is just to push it to this side there okay let's run it and just see how that's gonna look like for now so let's click on play there we go that's how it's looking now the next thing we want to do is let's add first person before adding the others so i'm going to go straight into standard asset character and inside the character i'm going to grab fps controller that's it right there grab that so that i can just use that to walk around the scene all right so the next thing now is let me add some more buildings in there and i'm going to come right in there you see this building apartment you can also get that in the asset store all right for it to be visible i'm going to change the size of that building to let's go for about 18 by 18 by 18. now that is the building you see this one i want this building to be inside a compound kind of i'm going to change that to about 270 okay that is fine now so let's reposition this all first of all let's just copy it anyway Control d i will need about two of those so that's fine just move it here there so i'm going to grab this blue one just dump it right there and change that to about maybe 20 by 20 by 20. all right so let's copy three of those Control d that's two Control d again and that makes it three so all i'm then going to do is just add some trees let's go back to the standard asset here click on the standard assets uh, environment and inside the environment there are some trees here but what I'm going to do is instead of just adding those tree direct or directly I'm going to click on the terrain this is the old extent of the terrain I'll select tree okay inside the tree I'm going to reduce the brush size let's reduce the brush size to about maybe 30 and no that seems a little bit too small now the density i'm going to reduce the density and i'm going to keep the tree height as random so that that's good enough for me so let's select the edit tree now and add tree and i'm going to use the broad leaf where is it the broad leaf desktop that's fine and click on add there that is the tree right there the brush everything is all right the way it is so all i just need to do now is just spray the trees around and that is fine so we dump that in there and we're going to change the size of that very tree that i've, I've just added let's come right down here we'll grab one of these and just paste it there i have two now i will just add more of the broad leaves so let's dump this one here and just increase the size of that to about 8 by 8 but no I think that might be too much let's say about 5 by 5, by five. and I'm now going to just sort of like copy it across Control D Control D again maybe one more okay that's what we do now alright so that is how it all looks now then the next thing is you see this very cube i'm going to change the material in that very cube let's come in here i do have a material for that i'm just going to drop it in the cube that is it done now let's run our program just see how that game look like now there we go look at that guys and that is how you create your own ocean view in unity okay guys so let's add a sky now so i'm gonna end it and let's there we go and we go to the windows here and let's select rendering lightning and in there we're gonna select environment inside the environment you see the sky box material click on that but you must make sure you have the the material the one i'm using is called all sky free so click on that get that in the asset store so i've added all sky free so let's try it out again it's coming up there we go guys look at that it's a beautiful ocean view guys and that's all there is to it i believe you guys enjoyed this brief tutorial and you all have a nice day now and bye for now